Hey guys, Neon here, and in today's video, I will be talking about the truth to why Just Survive sucks nowadays due to everyone treating Just Survive like King of the Hill. Pretty much just, Just Survive is a battle royale game now. First, I'd like to say that this doesn't just apply to JS. It happens in all survival games. It's just that in Just Survive, it's very, very bad. At least people in Daisy try to get over this fear. The fear I'm talking about is gear fear. It's the fear of dying and losing all your gear. <clears throat> this fear happens in everyone who's new to a survival game. And there are ways to cure gear fear, but I won't talk about that here because Deadly Slob, a Daisy slash Escape from Tarkov YouTuber, has already done a video about gear fear so go check out his video out and link in the description the people of just survive have insane gear fear far worse than the gear fear you see in DayZ or State from Tarkov it's so bad to the point as to where if you even just mention playing the game normally you get called a PvE warrior or they tell you go back to your will play server there is a roleplay server for JS for any of you who want to play the game how it was meant to be. I'll post a video talking about it soon. The way JS was meant to be played is the way people play DayZ. It's an open world game about surviving in a zombie outbreak and you have to find weapons to defend yourselves from zombies and enemy survivors. But you can also team up with other survivors and help them rather, <coughs> rather than just KOSing fresh spawns for no reason. It just makes no sense. In the KOSer's mind, they just think, oh, that fresh spawn has a shiv, so I'm worried he might kill me and take all my virtual loot. What the JS community needs to learn is that loot really doesn't matter. It's just a game. So why not have fun rather than worrying about some fresh spawn taking your rusty shotgun? What makes DayZ stay fresh and fun is that you have bandits and heroes. If you go unconscious during a shootout, if you stay long enough without respawning, the people may keep you alive tied up so you can have a fun interaction to remember. In DayZ, you meet all kinds of weird and wacky people on your adventures that make the game fun. But in JS, if you go up to someone and say, hello, how are you? They just keep their mic on mute and shoot you when you did nothing to provoke them. Even with the re even <clears throat> even with the recent return of Z1, I thought that the game would go back to normal, like in Z1, where people used to play the game the fun way, like DayZ. But all the new Badwater people are taking over Z1 now, making the new Z1 just another KOS fest like Badwater. For now, my advice would be, if you want a really good survival game until JS gets rid of these nasty people, just go and give DayZ a try. After the new .63 such beta update releases, DayZ will kill JS. Or if you just want, if you just <clears throat> if you want to just kill each other mindlessly, just go play any battle royale game you guys have. You guys have PUBG, King of the Kill, which now stole the name H1Z1, and Fortnite Battle Royale, which is free to play on consoles and PC. So if you guys have all these choices, why do you continue to kill JS because of your severe gear fear? If you have gear fear, go watch Deadly Slob's video that I will link in the description. He's an awesome YouTuber that does DayZ and Escape from Tarkov videos. And... If you guys do check him out, possibly put some comments down saying that I saying that he came from this video. He came from JHC Neon. Um, that would be all for today's video. Um, leave a like if you're a survivalist, or leave a dislike if you're just a nasty KOSer. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out, guys.